Hello, we're back. Matsekiro. It hasn't even been like a month since our played this. I'm, I'm trying to stick to new schedule now, or videos. I'm doing a recording session every week, which will be like three, like two to four videos a week, hopefully. Yeah, maybe we'll settle in with some more games as well. Anyway, Sekiro. Uh, I'm in some crypts, I think. I'm in some sort of tomb. No, it's a dungeon. It's a dungeon. Are we doing on money? Uh, not great. I think we spent all the money in that last time. I was just thinking because there's this vendor right here. So maybe I should try to buy something while I'm here, you know? Mask fragment? I have no idea what a mask, mask fragment, fragment is, dude. Jeez. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How many coin purses do we have? Mm, ooh. How much is bulging? What does it take for a purse to bulge? I don't think we have enough money right now. And this place is a teleport anyway, so at some point when I have like 500 to 1000 sen, I can come back to and then I'll pop my bulging sack and buy something. Because the thing about our sacks is that they are not lost on death, so I I may as well just hold off until I have some more money. Okay, they can see me. <laughs> they can see me. They cannot hear me, though. <laughs> Just getting used to the controls here. <laughs> I have actually not even played in a Dota. Since uh, last video as well. I've done it. I quit Cold Turkey. No more Dota, ever. Oh. Ooh, it's a little bit loud for me. I'd like to whoa, turn down my volume a little bit here, jeez. <laughs> you might even be able to hear like my audio in from a mic feed, uh, <laughs> considering my headphones are somewhat close to uh, my microphone. Okay, so that's the dogs dealt with. And this guy we can maybe backstab on his way out. I'm not sure if we can stealth, uh, stealth up on that one guy. Maybe if you like sprint and jump on him. Surely he's gonna see me. No, I guess this is how we get him. There we go. I didn't really look forward to, to try to fight uh, one of those uh, bell guys after he owned me so thoroughly last time. I feel like I, I need... Uh... Oh, it's the same guy. That's the same uh, bell guy, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah! Okay. Okay, things are getting a bit tied together now. So we've done like a big loop here, basically. Right? Yeah, a big loop. Because I, I went in here, I got owned by the bell guy, and then I decided to go around. So what's the deal with um, the dungeons then? Two things, uh, from uh, memory. We found a quest to lure a big boy to the dungeons to be experimented on by the surgeon. And there's a spooky purple wizard. Uh, yeah, there's actually not too much uh, to the dungeons here. So I'm just going to peace out. And... Um, We'll um, try to go further into the castle room? Something like that. Can I even pick up a skill for like one thingy? Chasing slice. Descending carp. Is that a skill? It's a skill. Latent skill. What is a latent skill? Is it passive? Latent skill that for a few seconds after deflection is a passive. Increases damage to enemy posture from all sources. Dude! That is just incredible. Yeah, 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 of course you take that. Isn't that, like, necessary for, like, like winning at this video game? <laughs> Don't you, like, just absolutely need that? Doesn't that just, like, enhance the whole, like, gimmick of, of Sekiro? I think we just need to get that ASAP. Jeez. 
Good thing I happened to kill a couple of rats, eh? <laughs> because that, that, that looks like an incredible skill. I mean, it might not even, like, increase it that much, but, like... It helps you with, like, the most important mechanic of the game, so... It's, it's kind of hard to imagine that being a very optional skill. You know? I'm assuming... This is still off-limits, yeah? Yeah. I feel like that's gonna be off-limits for a while. I wonder if he'll even, like, uh, find a key to that in, in this area. It might be one of those fake doors as well. Every now and then they do fake doors, real fake doors, that um, just have no keys and have nothing behind them. Like in Bloodborne? Remember that um, door that's like... Uh, it's like in the graveyard area. There's like a... There's like those huge giants. And it's like a giant like resting with a big ball, like big prisoner, like chain ball thing, right? Um, and you go down to like a little crypt area, and there's a door there, and you never open it. And apparently in the files you can see that it leads to where the cleric beast is, but like, yeah, they never made that door actually openable. Hate that. Because I feel like every single door that's been like, every single other door in the from software games have been, like, openable at some point. So it frustrated me a lot when they just had, like, a, a, a fake-ass door in that game. So, for all I know, that's just, like, a door that's there as, like, a reference to the prologue, but you will never be able to open it. So, I'm not gonna think too much about that for now. Okay, so we've been here before. Now, I believe that area over there led uh, eventually to the Dangoons, right? So the area I haven't explored is over here towards uh, the tower where um, the heir was in? Is that, is that what it's called? The Lord? The Diviner? Immortal heir? I think it might be No and I've fallen down as well. It's fine. I'm back up again. No, oh, you do lose um, a healthy chunk of uh, health for that. But at least it didn't uh rob you of your resources. Oh it's dude, it's uh seven Ashina Spears, man. Is the thing. You thought about that? That if you go too far you'll fight these seven Ashina Spears. Uh Shikibu Toshkats Yamuchi. Toshikatsu Yamu Yamuchi? Yamachi? How do you pronounce your name, sir? Can you help me out? Help a fall out? Just waiting for everyone to de aggro in the immediate area here. Imagine this. Oh shit, I aggroed some more people, I think. Imagine I am uh, also missing out on doing some, uh, some stealth damage on this guy. You could probably sneak up on him, maybe. And that way you get some, some easy damage. Oh, well, I, I, I can kill that guy fairly easily. Ow, stop this. No, I cannot. It's actually like pulling moves on me, dude. Ow. I hate this, dude. I hate this. I guess I'm gonna take the L on this uh, attempt here. And just uh, come back later, considering I just lost all my uh, health restorative items that I can't use anyway. That's the air. Oh, you just dive into full armor. I, <laughs> I am messing up. Where's the game you even put me? Oh, that's that skill I have now. I forgot. I did change my skill at Adam Mars. The overhead system is pretty good, but uh, I, I, I thought I had that uh, dash skill, uh, dashing skill on me. Oh, I, got, I managed to get out of the um, mini-boss fight. Cool, 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 cool. Bundle Jizo statue. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to piece out of this joint here. 
Unless I want to just like have a suicide attempt at the, at, uh, the mini boss. Wait a freaking second. Where is he even? Oh, he's there. Yeah, you can, you can indeed fairly easily uh, uh, get a jump on him. But I believe you might have to aggro him in the first place. Or you go that route. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. You, you get a jump on him by going the, 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 um, the sneak route that you went in the prologue, don't you? We don't have much to lose. Let's just um, do a little scouting attempt. So he has a spear, so let's try to go for some uh, counterattacks on this. Uh... No! That doesn't work. I meant to counterattacks on this uh, piercing attacks, uh, stab attacks. But it doesn't seem to care too much about that. Uh! I'm back in the hoil again. <laughs> this hoil is a real problem. Can you even like shove people off cliffs in this game? Ooh, okay, that's a sl oh sorry, I blipped the microphone. That's a slow as hell uh, jab he's got there. Took him forever to this little stab though. Listen, the problem is that he was actually too slow for me to dodge. I just couldn't just do uh, dodge that attack he just did against me there, because he was just too slow, you know? Makes sense. I just had to buy a Yule Scepter before, you know, I, because I don't e I haven't even got my Yule Scepter or Rod of Atos, there's like no way I'm actually gonna be able to like hit him with my abilities because like, he's just too slow for me, you know? Those guys are fine. So, last time, sneaking here was a bit of a problem, because I tried to jump over here, which didn't work. Oh, it's that guy who sees me. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Oh, hang on, wait, wait, wait a second. I'd like you to hang, please. I can't hang on that ledge. You're just figuring things out here, okay? Just figuring things out. Um, I'd like to get out of this whole mess right now, please. It is not as easy as I maybe envisioned getting to this place I am right now. Because this is the place I, in I eventually want to wind up in right now. Because we can climb up here, and then we can get inside the house, right? But it appears we're in trouble with the law right now. Seven Ashina Spears wants me. Surely that's not even your Christian name, sir. This is Buddhist name. <laughs> can I get up here? No. This is as far up as you go, buddy. Yeah, that guy doesn't de-aggro as easily as uh, you'd maybe prefer. Maybe like the only way to de-aggro him is actually to uh, leave the house. No, no, not leave, not leave the house, but uh, drop down. I think we might have to drop down. Well, we can do some scouting here. Alright, so how do we get to this point in the level? Stealthily. Okay, okay, if you get up there, you can drop down here, yeah, that's it. Oh, there we go, okay. But yeah, that's the information I need to write, so there's like uh, some foliage up there that I forgot about, next to the house. We can crawl under the house, I believe, through the foliage, and then down here. And, and, and so if you get uh, the jump on the gunner, guys, uh, we should be able to go up here. Uh, in subsequent attempts, I would prefer if we didn't wait like five minutes in between each attempt or waiting for everyone to de aggro. Let's listen to this guy before we go. I 
Fair enough. Listen, it'll, it'll all make... Oh, fuck, dude. It all makes sense in due time. That prick there is really, really doing a number on me right now. I guess that's a problem with um, this strat as well. Is that the enemies will wind up on the stairs here and the AI will break. And they will just stand there. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he didn't see me. And then we just kill this guy in between. Nope. Couldn't do it fast enough. Oh, that hurts. Beautiful. Okay, I think this is uh, about as many resources as I need. He's got some hard to identify uh, um, stab attacks, I feel. It d I could, like, when uh, he's about to stab, it, I feel like it could be a sweep attack or it could be a stab attack. I, c I can't really, like, um, uh, sight read this guy as easily, I feel. Oh, okay. Some ravioli here. Not even ravioli. Oh, I, if I dodged ahead, I wouldn't have died. Though. There we go. Oh, that guy is ruining my plan right now, though. But maybe he isn't, like, explicitly aggroing enemies to me, but just alerting enemies to go to my current location. Oh, we never went in here. Oh, this is the gatehouse. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, this is where to keep the spear. Gobu's broken horn. Famed horn spear once used by Gobu Masataka Oniva. I fixed it. Shouldn't be prosthetic uh, to get a prosthetic tool. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, it's a pull. It's a um, get over here. The horn contracts to pull enemies in. Also capable of stripping crude armor. Ooh. When a horn was broken during the rebellion, Ishin praised it for its splendid shape, awarding Oniva with a cross-bladed spear of Shuzen Tamura. Okay. Can I steal shields with that? Maybe I can, like, yoink uh, spears with that. No, not spears. Uh, shields. It says something about stripping armor, right? So I can, like, yoink. And like take uh, strip the armor and then um, uh, fight them easier. Seems like it could work. And this seems like the ideal way to progress here. And this time, yeah, there's no dweeps on the stairs. So the dweeps uh, on the stairs they did indeed uh, come from um, mishandling stealth and uh, the AI being busted. Uh, for being at the wrong place at the wrong time. No, oh, one of them. I do not take the bait on hooking to that. Ow! I thought it was going to be a, a stab attack. So I was waiting for the uh, symbol. Oh, but symbols are like pretty quick. This guy is really confusing me. Jesus, it does so much damage. I am so exhausted already, Jesus Christ. I'm trying too hard to do the counter. It doesn't do much. Uh, I should just deflect more. What do you do when you exhaust? Oh, you just back, back off. Yeah, and actually, he actually regens like fairly quickly. No, oh, that was a sweep attack. Yeah, so he actually has like a a stab attack that looks so similar to um, to his sweep attack in, when he's priming it. Oh, you also also see like his um, spear like flash, don't you? When it's gonna poke you. Yeah, okay. There's two. There's two telegraphs. Oops. <laughs> Ooh. 
we got the stealth rat now, though. So we're good. Oh, and this time... That, that last one didn't even count, because uh, we didn't get to do the initial damage as well. So now we get to do the initial damage. Uh, we have a way uh, higher chance of actually uh, killing him. Because even if we are getting Rumble Stilts good time, I may be able to get by not knowing what, what I'm supposed to do. Just because he has, like, way less health. Here I go. Do not de stealth, buddy. That guy is gonna be a problem. The Ogadanda? I don't like the Ogadanda. Oh! I did not expect that attack. I feel like maybe we. It'd be nice to try to delete his health a little bit somehow. Just because um, it would be easier to take down his stamina if his health is lower. But it doesn't feel like I'm really hitting his damage too hard with these shurikens. Uh, because it, I feel like he's just blocking them. He is being real confused by that, that's that case. These attacks just take so long to wind up, man. It feels like, feels like that should be actually good for me, but it's just real bargain. <gasps> His range. He does have a very long spear. It does make sense. No! Ah, we good, we good, we good. I'm gonna heal up again. That was really close. Yeah, this guy's not a bad Oh, I tried to block the unblockable. I am very stuck in this tree. Yeah, that, that tree was extremely clingy. What the hell? Fuck! The follow through. Well, I'm not sure if that's actually a follow through, but. It is a spear attack after a big swing. He didn't hear that. Good. For a second, I, I, I thought I saw him flinch. I was like, oh my god, he actually heard those pots. There's damage. What's the best way I have of like doing damage to him with prosthetic tools? Do I have any? Whoa, that actually kind of hurts him. I fucking hate his uh, spinny attacks, dude. What? Oh, he has a triple poke, gotcha. Is it, I think it might be better to just punch him when it, whenever it twirls. Because I think I interrupted that way. Oh, that hit me! For real, dude? Blackguard. No, he has poise. But I do actually land hits on him when he's twirling because he's not blocking them. So I think, yes, it is worth it. Because he also just seems to poke after he twirls as well. So it's actually super easy to dodge him. Never mind, he's a chump. Yep. There we go. Once I learned uh, his moves though, turns out he's just a, a big old chump the whole time. Oops. <laughs> yeah, I, I just... Uh, how to get a bearing for his uh, blackguard attacks, where he, like it twirls and like takes a bunch of seconds to do a fairly benign attack. That helps more than anything because I actually get to land a bunch of hits on him while he does it. Then it wasn't even that bad. You just sort of killed him. Lol. <laughs> I guess we'll try to clear this area here now. I did uh, identify a couple of goodies. 
can just try to poke off uh, a couple of people where I can see him. I don't know where to go now, though. I think I have to, like, uh, go to another area now. Because, um... Th this seemed to have uh, led up to a dead end. Um, I think we mainly went here for lore and to get the horn. The, the Gobi's horn thing. Oh, that's a gun guy. Oh, we skipped him. Oops. I <laughs> Wait a second. How did I skip him? Sure, that would kill him on the way here. Oh, no, no, that's not a gun guy. That's an ogre that's lost. That's a gun guy. These guys have, like, terrible coordination with each other. Yeah, like, that's something this does ex ex an extreme, like, uh, um, uh, contrary? O opposition to most uh, uh, stealth games. Is that uh, in, like, most stealth games, they'll have, like, some sort of shout whenever you uh, spot you. In this, it doesn't seem like they do. So, like, if one guy sees you, it's actually not that bad. You could just go kill his friends instead, though, if, you, if you're stealth okay enough. Really odd. Out loud. Oh, he didn't even like put a swing on a hammer at all. What? Nah, nah, I'm good. Nope, no, nope, no, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, hammer ogres, not that bad. Not even like ogres, are they just like big people? Like, do you have a, like, what a runt of the litter, and then, like, just the giant of the litter? Are they human? Because they're, like, not not just chunky, they're, like, huge as well. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, I, I can't think of uh, much more in this area. I feel like you have to go up there, I? I think we had an option to go up there, right? That's why I initially said, uh more towards the castle. Let me continue towards the castle, because I, I, I kind of forgot that this was an, uh, an area. What the hell are you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Vaguely. <laughs> yeah, we came upon this area here. There's like the bridge over there. How the hell do we get back though? Oh, here we go, here we go. The layout of this castle is just insanity. Yeah, we can go up here now, right? I don't think we've been up there. I think we left that legacy to last. And you're ill now, aren't you? Ah, oh, Polas. I don't know why we'd cure some of these people. I don't know how they can help me. <laughs> Which is a bit of a cruel statement. A little bit. But, um... I have very limited droplets. I think some of these people just have to... end up just coughing. 